built this about a year ago, and uh, I've, I've made a few modifications to it that are, are a little different than your standard um, Ultimate 64. Um, some, for those of you that don't know what an Ultimate 64 is, it's a brand new Commodore 64, brand new motherboard, but based on uh, FPGAs. So it, it does have sockets that allow you to um, add your own SID chips. Um, so this, this one, I think it has dual SID chip sockets, so you can do uh, stereo SID on this computer. Uh, I'm going to show you some differences between the Ultimate 64 and, and a regular Commodore 64. Of course, I've got the Ultimate 64 badge on this case, the standard black Pixel Wizard case, so this is a brand new manufactured case. The keyboard is, of course, a, an original Commodore 64 keyboard. There's, um, on the back side, there's some similarities and some differences between a standard Commodore 64 and uh, this board. Um, this has a standard uh, uh, cartridge port. Um, the, the modulator is, there's no modulator, of course, but these holes are unused, but yeah, I guess you could probably use them for, for switches or other connectors. It has a standard um, serial and video ports, serial video, and of course the cassette port. Now here, over here at the user port is where things get a little different. <clears throat> it's got uh, HDMI out, um, RJ45 Ethernet port, and uh, two uh, USB ports. So I'm going to show you something a little unique about this particular computer. Um, I'm just going to plug it into uh, HDMI on this monitor and uh, I'm to turn it on. So it comes up nice, clear, crisp um, HDMI video signal. <clears throat> but if you've noticed, I, I didn't plug power into this computer. Uh, it takes standard 12 volt DC barrel connector. Uh, but I didn't plug the power in. So how am I powering this? Well, that's one of the, the fun modifications I've, I've made to this computer. So uh, I'll show you a little more about that here in a second. So over here, you'll notice I've added this, this switch. Um, this switch controls the, the battery that's installed within this um, Ultimate 64. So when I turn this on, it powers up the battery system. And I, and I did this so that I could disconnect the battery from the, the system and have power completely cut off from the computer so that it doesn't drain over time. Um, so once, once that's on, um, it activates the battery. And you'll notice, I don't know if you can see it here, there's, there's some LEDs um, that are part of the battery pack that I took apart to uh, install in this. And those are the, the indicators as to you know, how much power, um, how, how charged up the battery pack is. So when that's on, you can, you can look in there and um, kind of get an idea. There's five LEDs that indicate the, the charge level of the battery pack. Um, so the battery's on. I can uh, plug in the video, power up the computer. So now it's powered up, it's running off the bat internal battery pack. If I want, I can just cut the power. So now the power is off. Um, this will not boot up now because there's no power connected. If I connect an external power source, it'll boot up. Because now it has power. Take the power away, it turns off. Turn on the internal battery pack, and it'll power up. You can plug in the, the external DC power. Um, 
And now it, it doesn't matter if I have external or internal because it's, it, the battery pack's activated. So it kind of operates almost as a, a UPS device for an uninterruptible power supply for, for the Commodore 64. So let's open up this computer and see what's inside. I'll show you what, what I have going on in here. So underneath the keyboard, I have this battery cell pack. Um, this came out of a commercial product that I bought uh, online. And um, it's a, a, a rechargeable USB power pack um, that is not your standard USB power pack that you'd buy for, say, charging a cell phone that has an auto shutoff feature. This, this power pack uh, has a switch that controls power to um, both the USB port and uh, also provides a 12 volt DC out. Um, and how it's connected is I, I took the, the uh, battery pack apart, installed the battery here, and then the control board, I just sort of uh, stuck it up here. And then, um, so it, I uh, had to do some resoldering on this board and solder some, some new wires in. Um, so what I did was I soldered the, the bypassed the switch and um, soldered the switch in over here on the side, connected this to the side of the computer so I could turn the battery pack on and on or off. Um, I wanted to I thought that was important to uh, retain that functionality. And then um, then of course I, I wired um, the output, 12 volt output. Um, it goes underneath the, the board uh, down here, and then con connects over here to the underside of the, the circuit board, and it's wired to the um, wired to the power plug, 12 volt power plug, uh, on on the bottom side. So um, so when you plug in power um, over in this power socket, it not only powers the computer, but it also recharges this. So uh, when this plugs in, um, it'll and the power switch is on, it'll can start charging um, this system. The other thing I have installed internally in this computer is uh, on the Ultimate 64s, there's an internal user port connector. So, so you don't actually lose the user port that's over here. The user port's been relocated to the inside, and they provide a, this pin header plug, and then you can get an adapter board that will um, break it back out to the standard Commodore 64 user port. And what I have installed in here is a, a Wi-Fi modem for a Commodore 64. So not only do I have a battery-powered Commodore 64, I have a Commodore 64 with built-in uh, Wi-Fi capabilities. So the, the battery pack that I disassembled to, to put in here, you can buy them for about 30 US dollars uh, online, uh, usual online retailers. Um, they're similar. This isn't the identical pack that I have that I use. This is a, a similar brand, but I, I believe this is a lithium polymer um, unit. Uh, but this brand, uh, Talent Cell, is the, the brand of um, USB battery pack that I used to, uh, to install into the, to this computer. So that is my mostly wireless um, Commodore 64. I do have plans to um, possibly make the video wireless as well. So, so you could potentially just pick this up and go s sit on my couch and, and turn on my Commodore 64 and, and use the Commodore 64 from the couch with, with no wires connected at all. So <clears throat> I'm looking at options for that. So uh, and if I figure that out, I will uh, probably make another video about that.